channel conversations in Microsoft Teams is a way for you and your team members to communicate with one another in a more formal setting than what chat would provide. Now, chat's going to be like your one-off chats that you need to just have on a, on a regular basis with people, but not officially tied to the work of a specific team, department, committee, or so forth. So right now what we're looking at is the general channel that came with our retail team. So remember, a team is just a, an official group of people, and that comes with a bunch of other resources because it's built on that Microsoft 365 group. So we might come to this general channel on the main post feed just to have some small talk kind of conversations as a group that don't fit into one of our specific topics. For example, the retail team has a very specific sales channel they created to just to talk about that one item or that one product uh, specific sales. But on general, we're just talking about things that don't fit into specific categories. So let's go ahead on this post feed for general. Let's start a new conversation. And you can see right away that it's very similar to what you've already seen, where we can have advanced formatting, attach files, use emojis, GIFs, and stickers, so on and so forth. So let's create a new post. But instead of just doing a normal post like you see above, we're going to create a special kind. So I'm going to use my A with a pencil here to do some formatting. I'm going to change it from a new conversation to an announcement. And just do a quick reminder that happy hour is at 4 p.m. And then my subheading, I'll say meet at Boulevard. All right, and then maybe I type a message with instructions or links or whatever the case may be. So I'll just put some text down here. Maybe I put a table in there. And notice I can also make this announcement in multiple channels. So uh, up at the top here where I changed it to an announcement, see there's post in multiple channels. And when you do this, it kind of makes you think of an email where you've got a two line and you just need to choose the other channels that this is going to post in. So now that I've done that, I can see all the teams that I'm a member of where I have posting rights. So you won't see any channels here where you don't have permission to post. So let's say I also want to make the same happy hour announcement in the general channel of the market project team. Maybe I own both of those or I'm active in both of those and I want to make sure both teams feel invited. So I choose all the other channels to which I want to make this same announcement and I choose update. Now I might want to change that background color. I might want to use an image instead of a background fill. And when I'm ready, I click on the send button. Now that announcement was made in two channels, and I can see when I hover over that link icon which channel um, which channels that was posted in. Now, if you're not um, a member of those channels, you're not going to see that, so don't worry about that. It's just because I created the message, I can see that. Now, let's pretend we're someone else, and we see this announcement posted as a conversation in this channel. I can come up here and react to it, just like I could in a chat. Or I've got some additional options if I use the ellipsis, where maybe I want to save this message. And if I save that message, notice it shows me that that's going up to my profile. So if I click on that, aha, I have a saved category. And that's going to show me all the messages or announcements that I've saved from all threads. So notice here's that one announcement from retail. And if I had any others, they'd be listed here on the left panel. All right, so I'm going to use my back button in the upper left hand corner to go back to where I was. And let's keep looking at some of those options for conversation posts. Now, if I don't want to have this marked as red, and remember that's going to make this bold or not bold, depending on whether or not I've seen the latest updates, I can click on mark as unread. Notice the general channel is bold again. I might copy a link if I want someone to see the same post that I saw quickly. Maybe I send that to them in a chat message. I might share it to Outlook if I want people to have that message and maybe they don't work in our organization or I just want to send it to a colleague as a reminder perhaps. And we can also translate, pin, turn off notifications about any replies perhaps, and do a number of other things using the More Actions menu. Now, in addition to reacting to and doing things with that initial post, maybe I want to post a reply. So I click on Reply. And then notice I get a similar bar to what I get with an original message, where I could do advanced format and attach files and react in more fun ways. Now let me start another new conversation here. I want to show you one app you haven't seen yet, and that's the Praise app. So down at the very bottom, you'll notice there's a ribbon icon on a new message here or on a reply. And I like Praise specifically in channel conversations because other people are going to see it. You could certainly use this in a one-on-one -on -one chat, but only the other person's going to see it. So the recognition just is a little smaller in that case. 
Whereas if I were to recognize somebody for having a kind heart on my team, maybe I choose Adele and I th say, thanks for how you responded to the challenges this week. I click on preview, I can see how that's gonna look and then I click send. And now everybody on my team sees that Adele gets tagged. You can see she was at mentioned automatically, so she has an activity notification. And then other people get a chance to come here and reply and also at mention Adele and say, yes, thank you so much, we appreciate you. So it broadens the opportunity to really make that, that praise or that recognition uh, land in an even more impactful way. Now, from the channel conversation, I could also uh, start a new meeting just by clicking meet in the upper right hand corner. And that's going to call everybody who's part of my team so that they can hop on if they're available. Or maybe more likely, I would schedule a meeting. So I'd use that drop down next to meet to schedule a meeting. And then just like in a chat message, when you do this, it's going to automatically invite everybody who's part of that team to that meeting. So I can see retail general channel is listed here for channel. Um, and that's, that's just my reminder that it's a group invite. 